Hi everyone, my name is Chris Chavez and today I'm going to demonstrate watercolor painting. But first let's talk about some of the materials I'm going to use. The paper I like to use is a thick one. This is a 140 pound cold press. I believe it's either Arches or Fabriano. And as you can see here, I don't really have brand loyalty. But I do have all the primaries here. This is a, if you mix a blue and a red, you'll get a purple, so you just don't need a whole lot. And then for brushes, using these, they look very small. This is a ultra round 10 low Cornell, and this I believe is also a low Cornell. I've rubbed off all the insignia. It's a dagger brush. To paint on, I'm gonna use this butcher tray. All right, well, let's get to it. The reason I like a thick paper is because I like to work in a very wet manner. If the paper is too thin, it can get all wavy. Once, a long time ago, I used a paper that started to disintegrate on me while I was still working on the piece. That kind of sucked. Paper towels are also a good tool. I usually use them for fixing problems that I made, like getting the paper too wet. Sometimes they can also be used for effect. I'll, I'll show you that later. Alright, let's speed this video up a little bit. You'll have noticed that I've really only used this dagger brush so far, and yeah, I'm gonna pretty much use it the whole time, I'm pretty single-minded. But seriously though, a dagger brush is perfect for watercolor, or at least for the water, the way I watercolor. It can hold a lot of water because of the volume of the bristles, and that sharp point is really good for fine detail. In general, I go from light to dark when working in watercolor. If you paint too dark in an area and then paint something wet right next to the dark area, you can get a, a bit of bleeding. Like, it'll, it'll start, just start washing back into that area, and you really don't want that. Also, I, I only use hot colors like red when I'm done painting in a particular area, like those eyes. Hot colors will most definitely bleed into areas that are wet, and they'll be obvious.
Okay, I'm going to slow this video down now. I've mixed quite a thick, for lack of a better word, slurry of watercolor paint on my butcher's tray. You can't really see it in the video, but I'm tilting the page so that the water and the paint follow my brush around the paper. Gravity is also a, a tool of the watercolorist. Those in-between armpits were painted with a slightly diluted mixture. They'd be weird if they were too dark. And finally, paper towel used for effect. Ah, there we go, smoke. All that is left is a few finishing touches. Right now I'm using some of that white gouache to get my fuse prong shiny again. I painted over them earlier. Here I am lifting paint. I get the paper wet, agitate it a bit, and pull the paint off with a paper towel. Sometimes a dagger brush just isn't sharp enough to get the finest detail, especially if you've been grinding it into the paper like I just was. That's when a sharp pencil comes in handy. And there we are. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.